Talk about, I guess, how the summer's been for you in kind of we weaving everybody together. Um, well, you know, first we went into it not even um, not even being too much concerned about what the situation is. You know, the situation is the situation, and you have to. Uh, you have to react to it and, and get your job done. So we really hit the ground running, uh, to say the least, and we had a number of scholarships we needed to fill. And we spent a lot of time doing research and, and trying to find the right guys and you know, trying to find out who was still available and, and um, trying to uh, decide who we wanted to add to our roster. And we think we did a pretty good job. How has the turnover, I guess, with the uh, athletic director situation affected you? Uh, how has that kind of factored into how you operate on a day-to-day? Yeah. You know, that's not something that I've really uh, paid any attention to. You know, we're, we're focused on our team, uh, trying to get better every day on and off the court. So uh, in terms of an effect, it, it hasn't had any on us. If you look at, uh, at Antoine Mason, maybe the most decorated player coming back, um, can you talk about what his attitude's been through all the changes and, and he's getting pretty uh, prestigious plaudits today, right? Yeah, you know, uh, the best word I can come up with to describe Antoine is loyalty. I mean, he loves Niagara University. Uh, very much concerned about his teammates and and, uh, and them doing well and uh, you know he he looks at it more as a challenge you know to him he looks at it. people see the good and the bad in things he seems to see the good in it and he sees well this is just another challenge for me to meet head on and try to overcome so he's been great with it. Niagara obviously had a pretty decent run last year but one of the issues with the team was that just kind of a lack of big men um, going into this year how do you see some of the, the front court players complimenting Antoine? Well, you know, I think we've added some size, you know. Um, the biggest thing about size is, is uh, you know, it, it's not, it's an old saying, but it's not the size of the, the dog in the fight, it's the fight in the dog, you know. And if you can rebound and defend with the lack of size, it, the bottom line is you have to get production at those positions. And I think we have the guys in place to get some production in those positions. I know it was kind of guard heavy last year, but one of the guys who kind of stuck out, um, even on the defensive end especially, was Taj McCall. Um, and he came back, and can you talk about maybe how his development and maybe the role that you can play in his development? Because it seems like he's kind of a, a, a gem that really hasn't scratched the surface yet. Yeah, he's, Taj is a little bit of a cult. You know, he's still growing into his roles and, and his body and getting stronger every day and, and improving his game every day. He's worked very hard on his shooting and his offensive game over the summer and in the preseason. Uh, so we're looking for him to take a step with that. Uh, he's obviously very athletic and, and long and a very good defender. So we're looking for him to continue that uh, in terms of his role with our team. So we're, uh, we're expecting him to be a big part of what we do. I know it's hard to determine leadership roles so early in the year, but you probably kind of get hints as each practice goes along who the, who, who, who the players that, that players look up to, that other players look up to. Um, and, and who do you see as those people at least so far? Well, we have two captains. We've yeah. announced two captains within the last week, and that's going to be Antoine Mason and Marvin Jordan. Um, and both have played a significant leadership role, not only in terms of by example, but vocally. Uh, and we have some other leaders emerging on the team, too. A good team has a number of leaders, you know, and they're able to lead at different times and in different ways. In the last couple of weeks, uh, as far as the newcomers are concerned, who's kind of jumped out at you as somebody who's acclimated maybe a little quicker than some others? Well, we've had a couple that I think have, uh, have done well and shown well in practice. Ramon Snowden has done well uh, from down in Virginia. Wesley Myers has done a good job. Um, Cameron, Cameron Fowler, uh, who's a transfer from Iowa State, he's done some good things. All of them have done some good things. Uh, those three uh, in particular have, have done a good job in practice in figuring out what we're doing and being able to be productive. Are you a guy who likes a deep rotation and being, being able to probably bring four or five comfortably off the bench, or are you a guy who kind of likes a tighter, uh, tighter seven or eight? Yeah, no, I, I like to, I'd like to have a deep rotation. You know, some of that's going to be dictated on personnel and, and roster. And, um, you know, but I'd like to have a deep rotation. I, I think the harder your team plays, the deeper your team needs to be. Um, and that's really the point that we want to get to. As far as preferred style that, that, that you want to play coming from LIU, what a... Well, what are you kind of looking for, for as far as that's concerned? Well, I like to get up and down the floor. Yeah. You know, I want us to get up and down the floor and score points, keep pressure on the defense. Uh, and defensively, I'd like to get after you man to man, you know, uh, see if we can get out and pressure you some, uh, hopefully get you turned over some and get us out and yeah. running. And has that been an adjustment, especially playing more man to man? Because I know Niagara's played a decent amount of zone in the past. Um, has that been a transition at all, or is it pretty smooth? Well, everything's a transition. You know, anytime there's change, there's there's a learning curve to it. You know, uh, but I, I like I like the approach of our guys. You know, they they've been very uh, they've been very open to everything, and, and they're more interested in, in getting it done and winning games than they are about specifics about what we're doing. They want to find a way to make things work.